this is a quick demo of what you are going to build in this video right now you can see i have a simple web page in my browser and we have built this navigation bar this is fully responsive this is built in the tailwind css you can see we have hover effect when you decrease the width then you will see that the menu items uh, have been hidden and there is a hamburger icon that was appeared if you click on that then there is a menu uh, appeared or with the help of animation if you click on that it would be done again so if you increase the width as again you will see that it is visible again so if you want to learn how to build this so then keeps watching this video hello coders welcome back to another tutorial today we are going to learn how to create a responsive navigation bar using tailwind css now if you are new to tailwind css don't worry tailwind css is a utility first css framework packed with classes like flex padding top 4 text center and rotate 90 that can be composed to build any design directly in your markup it's super easy to pick up so let's get started firstly you need to include tailwind css in your project that is really simple and straightforward so i will show you everything step by step you can follow along so first of all you have to create a new project if you don't have any or you can use your existing project i am going to create a first new file that would be index.html and i will add some basic html5 code and i will open the tailwind css official website and go to the docs and we want to use cdn so this is the simplest way to use tailwind css so just copy this code you can actually replace this html with that one now tailwind css is functional and working i can show you you have to open the html in your browser now you can see that tailwind css is working perfectly now you also should make sure if you are using vs code you should make sure that you have tailwind css extension installed in your vs code so i already have it installed so if this is installed then it would be super easy and convenient for you to write classes because you cannot remember all of the classes altogether so it will be giving you suggestions while you are typing so that will make your life easy so now let's begin and start making the navigation menu so first of all i will add some gradient to the body so right now it is not giving me any suggestion the reason is that vs code doesn't is not detecting that this is a tailwind css project so we have to create a configuration file in the root directory so i will just get the name of the configuration file and i will create it so this is the name of the file that you have to create so you can keep it empty now you can see i'm getting all of the suggestion now i will use bg gradient to top and then i will use from let's try to use some interesting color here okay i have a gradient but it is not looking good so i will improve it further i also need to add the height to the body as well not vh now you can see it is working right now here i will create a new div and in this div i will add some classes very first class is the width full and height would be i guess 50 pixels and then i want flex that would be display flex now i want a line item center and after that we need a section for the logo so i will create that div I will have text white for the entire container so for that add text white here I will add a minimum width for it so for that I will use 50 pixels maybe and after that we need so right now I am trying to create two sections one section for the logo and second section would be for the navigation for the menu item so now I will create grow so this is the class to add the flex grow so it will consume all of the remaining space automatically but before that i also need to add the maximum width to my div so actually yeah, let me add max width instead of w full i will add the max width 80 percent and to the body i can add 
flex and then i can add justify center now you can see it is in the middle let me add some border here to see what's going on behind the scene border okay i added the maximum width but i did not add the minimum width so let's try this one now i will add some padding horizontal padding here px 10 okay and let me increase the font size for the logo 3xl or maybe 2xl here let me add the font bold here so this should be minimum width and the font weight would be added with the help of font dash extra bold or maybe just bold and now i will add the menu item so for example i want to add anchor tag for the home about pricing blog contact okay now i will add display flex here to so that we could implement the alignment so flex justify and would bring, uh, pull it push it to the right and now i also want to add gap of four okay uh, maybe i want to add more so let's try eight all right that is fine after that i want to add hover effect on these buttons so let me add few classes here hover text color should be gray maybe or maybe black so let's use this one and i will add same class for every anchor tag let me try a different color Okay, I think this is better than before. Next, I will remove the border that was temporary. Okay, now we will test the responsiveness. So, when it uh, uh, is in the medium breakpoint, then we should uh, turn it uh, its position to the absolute. So, let's try that. For that here, uh, first by default, I will add absolute and if it is uh, equal or greater than medium breakpoint then i will add the position relative to it so now you can see that on this width it is now position absolute so i also want to add a flex call by default for the mobile view but uh, if it is greater than medium or equal to medium then i want to add flex row for the medium so i will add md here okay let's try so you can see if it is uh, its width is increased then a specific size it uh, is changed back to the flex row so now i also want to add top minus 100% that would make it invisible by default and that would be invisible only in the mobile view but in the MD it would be top inherit or okay here I can give it an ID okay now in the mobile view we need to add uh, a menu icon here so that user could, uh, would be able to click on that to display the drop down menu so for that i will add an icon from a website i own icons i guess so let me open it and let us install it so these are all of the icons that we can use so first of all i will click on the usage and to install it you simply need to add it uh, right before closing tag body tag so let's add it and now i will add the menu icon so let us search the menu icon from here okay just copy this one you click on that it will copy it for you and now here i will add that menu by default this is how it will look i will increase its size so let me try to add the class here 
text to excel i think that's fine i want to add cursor pointer okay and this should be visible only in the mobile phone so i will by default make it hidden and so no it should be hidden in the medium or greater than medium so i will add hidden here okay now if you go to the mobile view you will see that it would be visible now i want to pull uh, push it to the right side so for that i will wrap it in another div and i will i can move all uh, these two classes text to excel and md hidden in the parent and here i will add uh, flex justify and and also grow okay now you can see it has been pushed to the right side and now i will add some javascript code so that we could make it interactive so add script tag here and now i will add an id on here here menu toggle and add the click event document dot query selector and give it the id menu toggle and here i uh, add the add event listener here i will give it the name of the event i want click event and here i will get the i will get this element so let's save it in the menu variable document dot get element by id here i will give it the id of the menu and now i will use the menu dot class list dot toggle and here i will add the top 50 pixels i guess so by default in mobile view it would stay uh, hidden with the help of a uh, top minus 100 percent but if, you, if we click on that it will add this class and we are using toggle that's mean if you click on that again it will remove the same class for you automatically and also we need some animation so i will show you how it will look like without animation and how will it will look like after adding animation now i will add the duration let's try 200 and now check it you can see that it has now animation that looks really good so we can style it further in the mobile view so for example in the mobile view i want to add the background white color so let's try that bg white but in md greater than md we don't want any background so i will add bg transparent so now look at this it has background white but i also want to add the width 100 percent so width full so width is full but it should be aligned to the left side so i will add left zero okay you can also add uh, width 80 percent as well if you want to and add left right zero and m auto now you will see it would be in the middle and now let's fix uh, the issues for the menu now because these classes would be added in the uh, desktop view as well so for example it has the width 80 percent in it i don't want to i would don't want any extra class in the desktop view so for that i will add md w <coughs> auto and left auto right auto uh, let me add md for all of these 
and then I want <clears throat> I think that's it for now so now you can see that if you go in the mobile view it will simply work now I want to change the text color in the mobile view so for that here I will add the text let me select the purple color or maybe this one Nine fifty. Now I need to add some padding. So for that, I will add PX or maybe yeah, PX should uh, this is horizontal padding. I will add ten, I guess, and for PY, I will add ten. And in the desktop view, I want to uh, reset the padding. So I will use PX uh, 0 and MD PY should also be 0. Or maybe you can just simply say that P is 0. So it will cover uh, all four sides for the padding automatically. Okay, now, uh, yeah, it is looking good now. I also want to. Uh, decrease the gap between every menu item so for that I will by default I will add gap of 2 but in the desktop view I want gap of 8 now let's try if that makes it better let me increase the gap for the mobile view I will try 4 I think this is better and on hover I don't like this color so let me try a different color so this uh, uh, hover color should be only for the desktop view so i will add md for all of these links but for the mobile view i want hover text black and let's add it for all of the links all right now you can see it is working perfectly fine <coughs> Further, I can show you that the class has been uh, is being added automatically in the inspect element. So, for example, uh, you can see that every time I click on that, it updates the class list because it is adding the class that we are adding with the help of JavaScript. You can see on the end of this class list, we are adding top dash 50 pixels. I just found an issue that normally everything is working great, but when you go in the desktop view, I cannot see any link here in the uh, your in the header. We have changed the text color here. Here you can see we have added the text violet uh, 700. So this is for the mob uh, mobile view, but to, uh, this is uh, affecting in the text of view as well. To limit that, I will add MD, and here I will add text white. That should fix the problem. Now let's try. You can see now it is working perfectly fine. And there you have it, a uh, responsive navbar with Tailwind CSS. If you resize your browser window, you will see that navbar change from a hamburger menu to a full navbar. That's the power of Tailwind CSS utility first design. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you like this video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more web development tutorials. And as always, happy coding.